Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to make a quick video. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people posting, you know, that they're in the process of getting dentures or they're, they know they need dentures, but they're too terrified to even go to the dentist to pick up the phone and call. Um, or people, you know, that are scared to go through with it. Um, I've seen people say they're scared of um, the unknown. They're scared to be judged. Um, they're scared they won't be able to eat food anymore. Um, some people are scared their spouse will leave them. Uh, their family will judge them. Their friends. Um, overall, you know, people are just terrified of this. And um, it's completely understandable. Um, you know, anybody that has gone through this, um, you know, had all their teeth extracted. Or even some teeth. And had to get, you know, partials, dentures, whatever the case may be. It, it is terrifying. Um, and you have to be out of your mind to say, you know, that you're not even a little bit anxious to do this because it is really scary. Um, I was scared for a really long time. I didn't want to do this. I was broken hearted when I was 20 years old and I was told I needed to get dentures. Um, it it was so scary. I, I didn't know how to process it. Um, I cried a lot. Um, I, I put this off for a year and I, I spent so much time researching. What could I do? How could I maybe save my teeth? How could I get implants? How could I afford to do this? What could I do to maybe take out a loan? Um, I, I drove myself crazy. And I was so terrified to do this. I was so scared to even think about removing all of my teeth and having nothing there and dealing with something that's removable. And what if I can't wear it? What if I, you know, can't eat my favorite foods? What if I'm miserable the rest of my life? And I was just so scared of all the unknowns. Um, and then... It just got to a point where I said, you know what, if I don't do this, I could get really sick. I could end up in the hospital with sepsis. Um, you know, what is the point of hanging on to these teeth any longer? Like, I, I got to do this. And I did it. And I wish I did it sooner. Because if I had known what I know now, and if I knew that, you know, this wouldn't be that bad, and that I'd actually be happier... I would have done this so, 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 so much sooner than when I actually did. I would have skipped all the root canals, the crowns, all that work I went through, and I would have done this instead. I would have just gotten full dentures and been done with it. Um, it's just, it's not worth it to hang on to broken, bad, decaying, and defective teeth that can make you so sick. And, you know, for... Anyone that's afraid to do this because you're afraid of being judged, who cares? Honestly, if somebody wants to judge you and put you down for not having teeth in your mouth, that is a reflection on them. That is their problem, not yours. You know, a lot of people lose their teeth. Like, I lost my teeth and it wasn't my fault. Um, it was honestly just like so many different events and a domino effect from all of the root canals and crowns and you know but even if maybe you did you didn't brush your teeth you didn't take the best care of them you did neglect them it's okay you don't have to feel like you're you don't you shouldn't feel like you have to be put down or that you're less of a human being because you're losing your teeth because you didn't take the best care of them who cares it happened and you can't go back and change that you know all you can do is get the bad teeth removed and do what you need to do and move on just because you don't have teeth doesn't mean that you're it doesn't mean anything and honestly like I said if somebody wants to judge you that's on them if your friends and your family want to judge you and put you down and make you feel bad about 
doing something good for yourself and making sure that you're healthy, it's just, it's a reflection on them. It's, it's not your problem. Um, all you can do is keep your head held high, try to be as positive as you can, and just remember that, you know, remember who you are and try to think about all the positive traits that you have other than your teeth, because your teeth aren't everything. You aren't any less of a person because you don't have teeth. Think of, you know, if you have really pretty eyes or maybe you have an amazing personality or maybe you're really funny um, or if you're good at a certain hobby, think about those things and just focus on them and do whatever you need to do to be happy and just ignore what everybody else has to say because it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. And um, I purposely left my teeth out for this video because I wanted to show that it's okay. I don't care what other people think. <laughs> You know, yeah, I don't have teeth. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> um, it's okay. And I just want people to know that. And I just, you know, myself included and a lot of other people wish that they did this so much sooner. Um, and we have put it off for way too long because of the anxiety and the unknowns and the fear of being judged. And it's just ridiculous. Um, so I hope that maybe this helps somebody that's just terrified of doing this and pushes anybody <laughs> to go and just do this already. Do it for your health. Do it for, you know, get that pretty smile. Um, and I promise you, I know it seems so terrifying having these removable plates and, you know, seeing other people's stories that maybe they're having trouble with eating. But if you keep a positive attitude and you stay determined, you will relearn how to eat and how to speak and do normal things again. It will become your new normal. Of course, it's going to be, you know, all, it's going to be very difficult in the beginning with eating. Um, even now, I've had my upper, but I just got my upper permanent and I have my lower immediate i have no freaking idea what i'm doing i tried to eat a mcdonald's cheeseburger the other day and i was like oh my god i had to like spit it out because i i couldn't chew it but it's okay because i know in time with lots of practice i will be able to chew again and i will be able to eat like normal and everything will be okay um and that is the most important thing during all of this just keep a positive attitude even when things are going wrong even when you feel like crying even when you feel like it's the end of the world and it's never going to get better just try to stay as positive as you can and i promise it will get better everything will be okay getting dentures no matter whether you are 20 years old or 80 or even as young as 15 if you're a teenager it's okay it's not the end of the world um everything will be okay.